Hi, good morning, everyone. Right now, we are going to start the tick mail live analysis. If you guys have any questions, any requests, um, do write them in the Q&A box below, all right? Uh, just to make sure everyone can hear me. Can you guys can let me know in the Q&A box if you can hear me and see the chat on screen right now. Thank you. All right, we can go ahead and start right now. So first of all, we'll be looking at Bitcoin for this first sharing. We'll be looking at the daily chart right now. So right now we can see that there's an upward movement in general, but we are seeing it. Bitcoin prices to be hitting a strong pullback resistance on 37495 as a price point. Expecting this to look at a pullback of 0.7. It's six. All right. Can you see this comeback of a pullback resistance with a retracement of 0 0.786 with a bigger retracement on a roughly 50% on a second resistance as well. All right. So we can see that this has a potential chance to have a small drop to the first support at 35251 price point. All right. So let's take a look at the four hour chart. So in this case, for our charts, we can see a pretty consistent upward movement. We see this recent resistance hit on the first resistance mentioned in the day chart as well. There's a chance where there will be a small drop of 35251 in the meantime. To take note on the weekly chart, all right, To take note on the weekly chart, we can still see the observe the same pullback resistance as we did on the day chart. Second, can't seem to see questions at the same time. All right, next up, we'll move to Ethereum. So previously, we are looking at a take profit to the first resistance at on a four-hour chart, right? On a weekly chart. One second, let me just change. Right. Okay, so let's take a look at the day chart over here for Ethereum. So first of all, we can see that price did hit the first resistance at 2141, all right? with the previous swing high on about 16 April <clears throat> on the daily chart. So right now we are seeing there's a chance of drop down to bounce off on the first support at about 23.6 retracement, as well as, see this, 
as well as 61.8 Fibonacci projection. So right here, we are expecting a bounce from the first support roughly uh, at about 1996.87 price point to back to the first resistance of the previous swing high, which is 2141.65 roughly. All right. Moving on to DXY. Moving on to DXY daily price, we can see that there's a downward resistance at second resistance at 107, first resistance at 106, and first support at 104. So DXY is pretty much uh, right now, as of right now, uh, personally, I will not be taking a trade because of how center is the price point right now, right? We know that in general, from the daytime, we can see the general upward movement. However, there's a small resistance and a small bounce off over here at the first support. So we can see that there was a drop at this price point, moving on to build up its first resistance at 106. And now, right now, price did bounce off the first support and then land up in here, right here in the middle. So right now, I would say in general, the price point is not very certain and the market trend is not 100% certain on this direction yet. All right. So let's move on to Euro dollar. All right. So for Euro dollar, it was generally a downward movement. However, we do see a bounce off at this price point, changing the entire movement to a potential upward trend. All right, so we can see that right now price is moving consecutively upwards rather, rather smoothly. So we can see that there was a small retracement and then bounce off, small retracement and bounce off. So we are expecting this small retracement to create a bounce off as well, just as a 23.6% retracement bounce off as per the previous trend. All right, so previous movement, we expect this bounce off potentially hitting the first resistance and also moving upwards to the second resistance. So do observe closely to this first support price point where this is the 23.6% retracement. Okay, let's move on to pound dollar. All right. So pound dollar, we are looking at two swing lows, creating one first support at 1.20. All right, we can see a constant downward movement previously now changing into a potential upward movement. So I just want to check if there's any channels. Okay, so there isn't. However, we are moving upwards, pending to see where price point will actually reach to the first resistance and further moving up to the second resistance. As of right now, pound dollar, uh, personally, I don't see a very great take and movement up to the second resistance. So let us just take a look. So second resistance pending is at 38.2%. We are near 38.2% actually. And let's take a look at the first resistance. First resistance will be a movement to 23.6%. However, this has already surpassed it. So we'll just remove it. And let's take a look at the projections. So right now, if you are looking at the most current movement, so price point might be going off at a 78.6 small retracement and then come back down to the first support. All right, the chances of that is still highly likely there. Uh, let's take a look. So first support is at about 1.27. Right. So we can observe whether price point will move back downwards or straight away go up due to its uh, potential upward movement. All right. So if price point did come down to the first support, there's a higher chance of a buy entry here potentially on the day chart. All right. Let's move down to dollar yen. 
All right, so dollar yen has been a constant upward movement for a few weeks right now. So let's take a look. In fact, I would say months right now. All right, so let's take a look at the upward movement. So first of all, we are looking at this Fibonacci projection. We can see that the 100% mark is on the first resistance in line with this first resistance and then we have a 23 percent retracement from here to here back down to here all right so the reason why we are putting the first resistance is to be further higher up opposing to this previous swing high is because there are so many uh, levels in conjunction over here Right, we do have a Fibonacci extension right from here to here. One second, let me just pull out the lines. Tracement. All right, so you can see that this 100% will be high, slightly higher than the previous swing high set resistance, right? The reason why is that we there's a chance that price will actually attract to the 100% or the market will actually slightly high, uh, set off to the 100%, all right? Many of them might have already have a sell entry at the previous swing high. However, there's a chance where market would choose to believe that price could go slightly higher and also get attracted to the 100% Fibonacci projection in this case to the first resistance, all right? So right now, we are keeping first resistance and also the partial resistance in view in case of any chance of actually a turn down and to do a sell entry to the first support. All right, so do keep in view on the partial resistance as well as the first resistance, all right, to make sure to have a better price entry. Okay, so in any case, if you are seeing a more of a clear sell entry or a downward change in trend on the partial resistance, do go ahead with it as well. All right, so first resistance is more of a safety guideline as well to say that there's a potential attraction to the price point to be slightly higher than the previous swing high. All right, as of right now, if you guys have any questions, do remember to key them in the Q&A box below. All right, so let's move on to the next. Let's look at dollar franc. Dollar franc on the daily chart, we are seeing a more of a general movement. So first of all, the first general trend will be a downward movement. Recent current trend will be a upward turn downward movement. All right. So we are looking at the first support at roughly about 0 0.88580 at this green color box area with a 50% Fibonacci retracement. A bounce off and a resistance, an intermediate resistance of first resistance at here at 0, 09, 0, 0938 area. So we can see that a drop has occurred and then a bounce has occurred as well. So right now, price point is right smack in the middle. So there's a potential small possible triangle movement as well which also explains why price point is roughly in the right smack in the middle of two important levels so do view uh, or keep this uh, triangle movement in view all right even though i can say that this is rather a smaller trend line okay maybe on a four hour it will look slightly more valid and the third point has not been reached all right so do keep this potential triangle movement in view so that in general, we can look for the next breakout for a potential movement or trade in mind. All right. Moving on to dollar cat. 
All right, so dollar cat right now is looking at a upward channel. All right, we are looking at a potential first support over here. We could potentially move the support over here. All right, however, this support is not as strong as we like to look at it. So we are looking at here. Maybe we can put one partial one over here for the swing low, just to take note of it. All right, and the second support over here at 13380. So right now, we are looking for upside confirmation. All right, so we are looking at this to be sort of a our first partial resistance. All right, if price point is able to exceed this point or breakout of 138644, we'll be looking at upward confirmation and also potential buy entry towards the first resistance and also towards the channel's resistance in this case. So right now we are looking at this potential upward movement at upside confirmation uh, as well as our first resistance to be 100% projection. All right. Move on to Aussie dollar. All right. And so right now, Aussie dollar, you can see pretty much first support and second support and first resistance, first resistance and second resistance. All right. So price point has actually hit the first resistance and come back down. We are looking at potentially a uh, price point will hit the first support and continue to bounce up so in this case we can say that price is actually right now in the midst of uh these two price point which is 0629 and 050 0650 all right so right now we could say that the price is actually moving sideways there's no particular trend in mind as well so if price point bounce off from the first support and hit the first resistance and come back down so we have be keeping a sideways movement all right so let's take a look at this so just nice we will see the first support is in line with our 100 percent fibonacci projection levels if price point actually bounce off here then we'll be looking at potential 78.6 for the resistance as well. All right, that's just something to take note of for Aussie dollars. There's a chance that price is still continuing moving on sideways for a while. Now, looking at this first and first first resistance and first support to be their main price point. Moving to Kiwi dollar. Kiwi dollar does not have a very big trend, all right? If we could say it's a general downward movement for the bigger trend, we can see the recent bounce off on the second support and the first support over here, all right? So there's a chance that if price point do not drop off to the second support and do take a bounce on the first support. There's a chance to hit the first resistance as well. So this is one area to take note of. All right. Apart from that, Aussie dollar, sorry, Kiwi dollar. Kiwi dollar has a general resistance over here. All right, moving downwards. Let me just take a look on something. So we can see that the resistance level is on here so if price point just nice bounce out of this we can go for an upside rather upside confirmation to the second resistance if it potentially bursts out of second resistance we can be potentially looking at a further higher resistance over here roughly at about six zero point six three nine zero four moving on to commodities we'll be looking at crude oil Let's take a look at, in general, crude oil will be looking at a downward general trend. Price point is expected to actually make a small retracement back up to being 3.6% level. All right, so we are potentially looking at a upward small-term retracement 
for the price to drop back down to the first support. All right. So this area, right, we are looking at a potential movement of upward and then drop back downwards to the first support. Okay. In general, we are looking at a downward trend. Attraction to 23.6% and then drop back down to our first support. Let me just take a look at the projection levels from here. A little bit far off, but we can look at a potential projection of 1.272. So we are looking at this possibility of this area. All right. Moving on to gold. All right. So for gold, you will be observing a downside confirmation, a potential downside confirmation. All right. So if you guys trade gold on a smaller time frame, you realize that you can see a four hour uh, head and shoulder pattern. All right. Obviously, that's on a smaller time frame. So let's look at the daily time frame and how can we get downside confirmation in this case. We'll be looking at a Fibonacci retracement level of 28. 38.2%. 38.2% will be a potential up or bounce. All right. So you can see that right now, price did indeed do a bounce over here. All right. However, we are looking at a potential downward movement, right? Or a downward trend. So in this case, we will be looking at a potential small term retracement upward. Once price break through this downside confirmation, which is a small potential support at 1932, we'll be looking at a potential downward movement all the way to first support at 1884.118 at 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. All right. In this case, do any of you have any other questions? Give me a moment. Uh, in the meantime, you guys can type down the questions you want in the Q&A box. Sorry about that. Um, do any of you have any other questions before we go into the indices? All right, let's look at take a look at Dow Jones in this case, all right? Okay, Dow Jones has been moving in a downward general trend. We can see the big time frame trend will be down, moving downwards and then we'll be seeing a potential drop as well. Even though price is slightly out of the downward trend line, however, we are still observing at a very strong resistance over here at 34400. All right, at this strong resistance pulling downwards of at 34400, there's a chance of drop. So we can see that with the open market today, we can see that the price has already moved, make a potential drop movement, indicating there's a further drop in the future as well. All right, so we'll be seeing a potential drop. We are inclining it to think at potentially 38.2% at this area to be a first support. All right, the reason why we are looking at this area as well is because it's at a 61.8% retracement. Uh, let me potentially take a look at this. And also 161.8%. So this area is rather a strong resistance as well as a resistance uh, support turn resistance. All right, so we can take a look at this price point area as well as this first support area in the general downward trend. All right. Then let's look at our German 40 index. German 40 index is also moving at a light point of downward trend. All right. However, we'll be seeing there's a potential movement out of the trend. All right, so we can see that it's still keeping a downward movement. However, because of this 
potential bounce, we could potentially see price to be attracted to this first resistance price point at 50% Fibonacci retracement. All right. All right. Now, price point is at 38.2%. Okay, so we can take note if price actually exceeds 38.2 Fibonacci retracement, we'll be looking at 50. If not, we will be still keeping our downward trend line. All right, so that's something to take note of. If not, we'll be looking at first resistance potential of moving downwards to first support. All right. Let's look at US 500. Same, we will be moving on a downward trend line as well. They'll be looking at a potential first resistance at 4423.4, looking at a 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, and we are looking at a resistance from the trend line as well. So there's a chance that price will actually drop back down to first support at 4337.2. Okay, and then we'll be looking at next one, which is our last, at US, US 100, all right. US 100 right now, let's take a look, all right. US 100 was moving on a downward movement previously. Now, right now, we are looking at a burst of upward movement. There's a potential first resistance looking over here. All right, at 15936. Sorry, this is the first one. And then we have a second resistance over here. All right, at 15936. So right now we are saying, we are looking at potential pullback or drop down of this price point when price reaches the first resistance. All right, so we look at the potential downward support. Okay, that's about it. Uh, do you guys have any other pairs you would like to request for? We are open to any pairs you guys would like the live analysis on. All right, so not right now on the agenda, we'll move on to the custom requests by everyone. Um, do you guys have any custom requests to look out for? If not, we can look at some pairs that I would like to look at. Give me one second.
Let me just share my screen again. All right, so let's take a look at this right now. Looking at a downward trend line, all right, for pound euro. Okay, so we can see that price point recently has broke the support, all right, this area of support, all right. Let's take a look at the Fibonacci. Sorry, should have been for the previous price movement, downwards movement over here. Let's take a look. Maybe about 100. 78.6 is the guideline, right? Okay, so first of all, we can look at this to be a potential first support previously. So price did break through 61.8 Fibonacci projection levels. However, we are still looking at this area at 78.6, which is a partial support. <clears throat> All right, so 78.6, if price is able to break through 78.6 partial level, then we'll be looking at a further downward movement. All right, if not, we'll be looking at potential bounce, which is in this case, we are seeing a little bit of it towards this upward of this resistance of this trend line. All right, which is a very small trend line movement of 50% retracement. I mean, current movement of 50% retracement. Okay, so maybe let's take a look at Euro Yen. So Euro Yen, because of the decline in Yen in recent settings, we'll be seeing a straight upward increase of Euro Yen. So for the longest time, Euro Yen have been traveling sort of on a sideways trend all right, until recently, which is on the start of November, we're seeing a constant upward trend up here. All right, so price point has actually... Let's take a look. Uh. Move upwards by a lot. I can't see any current historical levels. All right. The previous levels are pretty high at 169. So there's a chance that price might, might in the near future move up to 169. However, we are still looking at currently, it just broke out on recent res a resistance level at 159.772. We are looking at a potential upward movement still. For example, let's look at a recent current movement of the bounce. We are still looking at 100% is still within our reach. All right, 100% of this movement is still within our reach. So if you guys are looking into Euro Yen, you can look at a potential still continuing moving upwards in terms of this trend. All right. Sorry, I think I, you guys are not able to hear me previously. All right. So I was saying that price should, was moving sideways for the longest time and then we are moving upwards right now. Okay, so we can see that price did recently break out of this potential resistance level and then we are looking at a potential reach to the 100% projection in the near future. Okay, price point or trend continuity is still available in this area. All right. Let's move on to our next one. Looking at Frank Yen. Frank Yen similarly is also on a upward movement. All right. So looking at recent levels, we can look at potential levels of support. Okay, 
Recent levels of resistance. So previous resistance was broke up at on 18 October, dipped a little bit, and then we are moving upwards again. So first resistance in this case, we are looking at 168. All right, so we have yet to reach the minimum Fibonacci projection level at 61.8. So if price point is able to break through this first resistance level, we'll be looking at a second resistance at 61.8. Okay, so right now we are looking for a potential upside confirmation where price actually break through the first resistance over here, which is a potential previous movement of So it was a previous movement, 100% projection level. So if price point managed to break past this, then we'll be looking at upward movement of 170.283. Okay, moving on to the next. Let's look at Euro Kiwi dollar. Euro Kiwi dollar, if you are looking at this, we can still see a slight downward movement in general. However, we are looking at a potential breakout of this recent resistance level. So first of all, this is a retracement level of 78.6. Matches perfectly with our first resistance looking over here. Right? So, price point is actually moving or attracted towards the first resistance point. We are looking at a previous swing low as a first support. So, we are looking at a potential attraction upwards to 1.826. If price point actually breaks through it, we can be looking at the second level of resistance as a potential upside confirmation all the way up. Which is also our... Sixty one point eight potential level, pretty great area over here. All right. Okay, moving on to the next. Let's take a you look at Aussian. So right now, Aussie M, we have to take note of this resistance level at 97.529. We can tell that the price has actually dropped from the resistance level of 97.529. Let's look at the projection levels. One second. Sorry, should be the previous movement. At about hundred percent. All right, so this area. So right now, price has dropped off from the resistance level. Right, so we'll be looking at a downward movement and let's look at the retracement level right now. All right, so we are looking at price to be attracted to 38.2. All right, 23.6, we have just dropped off. So right now we are removed 23.6, looking at 38.2 potential to have a bounce again. All right. And let's see 
let's look at the drop off point. So our first support will be looking at 95.257. So we have 50% Fibonacci retracement and 61.8 Fibonacci projection levels. Moving on. Uh, do stop me in between if you guys have any questions or any other pairs you would like to see, all right? Okay, so let's take a look at Frank Ian. Oh, sorry, we talked about this already. Let's take a look at Aussie Frank. Okay, so Aussie Frank in general, we can see from the big movement will be a downward trend movement. All right, even though here it has a bigger gap, we can still look at this downward trend movement. You can see a very clear support in this case over at 0 0.56126. Also in line with our 78.6 Fibonacci projection levels for the current price movement, all right, then we will see a potential attraction down to this potential price level. Right now, price just surpassed or just dropped out of the 50% Fibonacci retracement, be looking at the next one at 61.8. All right, so there's a chance that price has already reacted to the 61.8, showing a small movement upwards, showing a potential drop in here afterwards towards the first support. So in this case, we can also be looking at Ichimoku Cloud and we can see that a, there is a confirmation on the downward movement. Uh, let's look at a little bit on stochastics. We can also see that price is actually dropping from the resistance as mentioned by us previously. So you can see that resistance is also in line with the stochastic resistance in this case, showing a potential down move and also showing that the our support to be a potential endpoint as well. All right. All right, moving on, we'll be looking at Euro Frank. Euro Frank, we are also seeing a general downward movement in this case. However, we can see the price is trying to move upward. So, do take note of this support or swing low. This resistance over here. And second support over here. Second resistance over here. So right now, price is actually, sorry, let's change this. See a more recent resistance, all right? And then we have the next over here. All right, so if price is able to exceed the first point of resistance, which is currently we are looking at a projection level of so right now, this gap we are looking at is about one to seven area. All right, so if price point is able to exceed this area and exceed the first resistance, we'll be looking at the next swing, which is at the second resistance over here. However, we can see the price or the candle structure is slightly slowing down towards the drop. All right, so we can look at a potential drop 
from the first resistance to the potential first support over here. Slightly a bit far, a bit further. However, I think we can still, in the longer run, we can still potentially be looking at first support over here. We can also be looking at partial support for Fibonacci 50% price point level over here. We'll get a potential partial support in, in between these two Fibonacci retracements, all right? Okay, now we can move on to the next. Looking at a... A bit of this. We just talked about this, what then? Looking for pound frag instead. We're looking at a general downward movement, very similar to every other frank pass that you see. All right, so first of all, we can look at recent resistance level, looking at 1.11498. And then we'll be looking at the next resistance level at 1.12422. Let's look at the recent swing low at 1.08134 to be our potential for support. So you can see that price point is actually hitting the resistance and dropping down already. So right now, we are looking at a further downside confirmation after price point drop after 38.2, which is a recent support. So let's just change to second support. All right, so this is our first recent support with in line with our 38.2% retracement. If price point managed to drop further down, we can have a further downside confirmation. If not, we will be abiding to this bounce off to the first resistance, potentially to the second resistance. All right, so we'll be looking at these potential levels. Looking at Ichimoku Cloud, we will see a continuous downward movement. All right, so towards the downside confirmation, we're still a bit more positive on that. We can also be looking at the stochastics levels. So we are also looking at a potential drop from the resistance level in line with what we are seeing with the chart. All right, so first support is more of a double confirmation for the downside confirmation if price drop past the first support. All right. Okay, next up, just give me one moment. Okay, so we can look at our next pair of Kiwi Frank. So in general, a huge downward movement is very or rather obvious in this case. General downward movement, looking at first, second support over here, looking at the first swing high, recent swing high to be the first resistance, and second, previous swing highs to be second resistance. All right, so we can see the price is dropping as per every other franc pairs. All right. Looking at recent movement, recent retracement, we are looking at 50% to be our current small support. All right, so if price point drop further from 50% retracement, we'll be looking at price point to be attracted to our second support. Okay, in general, price point is below the clouds, which is a good indication of potential downward continuation. 
And then let's look at stochastics as well. We'll be looking at a potential movement, which is downwards. Okay. okay moving on to the next. Spoke about Euro dollar. Let's look at Euro Aussie. Slightly change in our look. We can see that Euro Aussie is moving on an upward movement. All right, so let's look at the recent prices. Recent prices, there was a slight decline, and price has actually already surpassed, looking at a potential upward movement. However, we are looking at a resistance point over here on the previous swing high and also resistance point over here. Rather close, I would say. All right. So in this case, you can see the price might have already retracted a slight bit due to this first reject, uh, retracement, a uh, resistance, sorry. And then let's take a look at Fibonacci projection in this case. Nearing to 78.6. Right, and then we have the next one to be hundred percent slightly far. So let's look at the first resistance. All right, to be the previous swing high in line with our seventy eight point six area. So we can see that there's a potential drop to be happening over there. And let's look at the first support to be here. Second support to be on this swing low. Potentially, we can get a movement downwards. All right, let's take a look at the Ichimoku cloud. Right now, price is still holding above the cloud to be safe. All right, normally we will have a downside confirmation where price actually exits the cloud. All right, exits the cloud. If it doesn't or this does not matter to you, you can potentially look at a potential drop from the first resistance to the first support from 1.68 four to 1.645, all right? Let's take a look at the others. Let's take a look at Kenyan. So CAT here has been on a steady upward movement previously. However, in recent events, we can see a downward movement and then a bounce upward. So this is a very clear point on a first support. Looking at this potential second support over here. Very clear point on a first resistance. And the previous swing or recent swing high to be a second resistance. All right, so price point right here is pretty simple, pretty obvious. All right, so we can see a very clear cut on the resistance very beautifully in line with our 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. All right, and then we also have this resistance being set up on our... 100% Fibonacci projection from the previous price movement. So in other words, this first resistance uh, is known to be quite strong. All right, two Fibonacci levels, um, one swing high level. Uh, price movement have been dropping off from here for uh, one, two, three, about four times at 109.926. So we're looking at potential drop from this first resistance level. All right, so if in this case, we don't have any other questions, uh, then we will be 
moving on from here. And that will be all. If you have any other questions, do not uh, hesitate to keep in touch with us. And we hope to see you in our next live analysis session. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Goodbye.